Draconculiasis, more commonly known as guinea worm disease, is a crippling parasitic disease caused by Draconculus medinensis, a long thread-like worm. The disease has afflicted humanity for centuries. It is transmitted exclusively by drinking contaminated water. The incubation period of the disease is 12 months after infection. Guinea worm disease is characterized by the emergence of a female worm, measuring 60 to 100 centimeters, from a blister, usually, but not exclusively, located on the lower leg, causing excruciating pain and disability. In 1986, almost three and a half million cases occurred annually from 20 countries worldwide, 17 of which were in Africa. In 2011, a total of 1,058 cases were reported from only four countries in Africa, Chad, Ethiopia, Mali, and South Sudan. The disease is being overcome mainly through strong partnerships with the governments of endemic countries and a number of organizations. In 2011, the World Health Assembly, WHO's decision-making body, encouraged by the rapid decline in the number of guinea worm cases, called on endemic countries to intensify eradication efforts and heighten surveillance. It also called on countries where transmission has been interrupted to heighten surveillance in order to prevent transmission from imported cases. There is no doubt that guinea worm disease will be eradicated soon. That too, without the availability of any diagnostic test, drug, or vaccine. Our greatest challenge in this very last phase is to detect the few cases which are occurring in remote locations. Eradication efforts become more challenging when it comes to dealing with nomadic populations who keep moving from one region to the other, often across national borders. The eradication program also faces difficulties because of insecurity prevailing in some endemic regions where conditions pose a risk to the safety of health workers. Right now, heightened surveillance and timely case containment is our priority and also the key to success. Heightened surveillance and case containment begin with the village-based health worker, who's usually a volunteer trained in case detection and containment. Guinea worm disease affects people in rural, deprived and isolated communities who have no adequate safe drinking water supply and who depend mainly on open water sources such as ponds. Products such as Temafos should be applied to treat such surface water sources. Regular supervision and verification of cases are done at village level. All data collected are reported to the regional and eventually to the national level for analysis and dissemination. Early detection of cases, preferably before eruption of the worm or at least within 24 hours of its emergence, is the first step in case containment. A country reporting zero cases over a 36-month period is believed to have interrupted transmission of guinea worm disease. In December 2011, the International Commission for the Certification of Draconculiasis Eradication recommended that five more countries be certified as free of Draconculiasis. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Brunei Dar es Salaam, Burkina Faso, Eritrea and Togo. A total of 192 countries and territories have now been certified as Draconculiasis free. The victory over guinea worm disease will be a major achievement for public health. Almost 30 years after humankind eradicated smallpox, the only disease to have been wiped from the planet. Conquering guinea worm disease has been a long and arduous fight. Success could not have been possible without the unfaltering commitment of endemic countries and the support of partners, particularly the Carter Center and UNICEF. The World Health Organization believes in the right of every individual to live a life free of disease. To finish the job, we depend on the continued commitment and support of partners and member states to eradicate guinea worm disease.
In order to achieve interruption of transmission, the World Health Organization recommends heightening surveillance and containment of cases, scaling up communication and awareness programs, increasing access to safe drinking water supplies. Now is the time to heighten surveillance and contain each worm to achieve the goal of eradication.